There are now some new requirements when it comes to masks in Franklin County schools. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksheimer breaks down the change and what documentation is now required for some students and staff. Monday night, the Franklin County School Board voted to change the district's mask exemption policy from no proof of documentation to now having to fill out and turn in a form for a religious or medical exemption. The change comes since the county has seen an increase in COVID cases. We can't control community spread, but what we were hoping to do in going to the board and asking for this revision is to reduce the number of quarantine students. Two weeks ago, before the district's brief move to virtual learning, 1,200 students were quarantined. Last week, when students returned to the building, the number went down to 415. Now, a week later, only 274 students are quarantined. We do know that in-person learning is key for many of our students. And so the ultimate goal is to keep our students in school, all of our students in school, and uh, provide them the education that we know that they deserve. Currently, about 1,200 students and staff have mask exemptions without documentation, as opposed to last year's 15 students who had documented medical exemptions. Said it's about the appropriate accommodation. If an individual cannot wear a mask, what would be a reasonable accommodation for the individual? Mask exemption forms must be completed and turned into the school's principal by September 20th. Families will be notified by the 27th if their exemption is approved. Reporting in Franklin County, Sydney Jacks Timer, 10 News, working for you.